Let's go talk to Kai. Sorry for being a little bit quiet. I'm processing a lot of what's going on. I'm actually kind of curious if uh, how the story is going to unfold. My theory right now is that Kai is going to meet her and actually fall in love with her as well, like his grandfather did. Hi. Aww. Should the thing for Kai. I actually like that short hair, dang. She looks cute. Okay, right, where you at, buddy? Peace. Mahalo. Fish a ship. I don't get some little stuff like that. Problems are promise, lead the way. Let's go, buddy. Aww, she does have a thing for Kai. That's sweet. I wonder if that's the uh, Kahuna's daughter now. Oop. Um, this way? I kind of got uh, a little sidetracked. <laughs> I forgot there was a building right there through the doorway. I just want to get to the next area before I end the set. That way I have another place to go to. Alright. Let's see what happens. Why have you brought me here? <sighs> that voice beats music to my ears. I feel like I could cry. Oh, darling, tell me, is it you? My one and only Kai? Yeah, I'm Kai. Do I know you? Oh. What? You're a mermaid. Oh, silly me. I'm always far too quick to jump for joy. You don't know me. I don't know you. You're not my darling boy. No, I'm not. The man you loved, he was my grandfather. But he's not here anymore. <sighs> my darling Kai. My one true love. The one that I adored. You died alone and friendless on this cold and windswept shore? Oh, how could I forget we mermaids live 500 years? Quick as a flash, a human life just ups and disappears. Without Kai, hours seem to pass too slowly to be true. But now I see cruel time was flowing faster than I knew. for finding Kai for me. You've been a proper friend to trace my love across the sea until the bitter end. I said I would reward you and I mean to pay that debt. You'll find your prize upon the selfsame island where we met. I'm sorry I can't come along and see you on your way, but now I'm here, I can't go back. I think I have to stay.
waited for you so, so long through sun and stormy weather. But now it's time, at long, long last, we're going to be together. Your granddad's hands, you know. So soft yet strong and honest. The hands of one who'd never ever make a faithless promise. A mermaid who sets foot on land will perish in the brine. But that's all right. I got to meet my darling one last time. been a human, or if he had been like me, perhaps we could have lived together, happy as can be. But I'm a mermaid. He's a man. There's no point asking why. He was my one true love. But now, it's time to say... Stop thinking I've seen her somewhere before. Of course! Grandpa's cabin! <laughs> uh. Well, that took a turn I didn't expect. That was just. Wow! When she got to the. When she put on the, uh. The veil, I was like, oh crap, this is going where I think it's going, isn't it? Was not expecting that. Alright, while we're in here, dresser, where's it at? Pitch pearl? Alright. This is Grandpa's handwriting. Dearest Beloved, ever since you saved me on the day of the great storm, the dream of one day being reunited with you is all I have lived for. But now I fear that dream is over. Forgive me, my darling, but I cannot keep my promise. Some years after my boat was burned and I was exiled to this beach, the fishing fleet was hit by another great storm, and many people lost their lives. The Kahuna and his daughter Leilani's husband were among them. One night, not long afterward, I saw a woman standing on the cliffs. She had a baby in her arms. It was Leilani, the woman who was once to be my wife. With her father and husband gone, she had lost all hope and all reason. I called out to her, but in her grief, she could not hear me. Before my disbelieving eyes, she threw herself into the ocean. I tried to save them. I did everything I could, but only the baby survived. to row back home? You're not in any pain? 
I wish you'd let me keep you till you're fighting fit again. Don't worry about me, Michelle. You fix me up real good. I'm fitter than ever. Huh? Ah! <laughs> <sighs> I know you've got to go. There's things you have to do. Just promise me you'll be back soon. I'll wait right here for you. It's all my fault. I'm sorry, Michelle. I... I can't leave. I can't just be thinking of myself anymore. This child needs me. The villagers say you put a curse on me, but it's only because they don't understand. They don't want what happened to me to happen to anybody else. You have to forgive them. They don't know you like I do. They don't know you at all, and what they don't know, they fear. I sometimes wonder if you're still sitting there on that rock, still waiting for me to return. But it's too late for me now. I'll never make it back there. I'll understand if you can never forgive me. But I want you to know one thing. I love you. I always will. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been so hard on you. Without you, I'd never have known all of this. Never met Michelle. All this time, I hated that mermaid for what she did to my grandfather. But now I see how he really felt. He wasn't cursed. He really loved her. Wow, just so heavy. I like the painting. All right, let's go. Huh. Let's see here. Now we zoom back to the strand. Man! I feel bad for Michelle. She sat on that island for 50 years. Holy crap. Hey, Dave. Lorelei's heart. All right. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Dearest friend, if you're reading this, it means I've gone away. If what you say is true, I don't think I can stay. Thanks for all you've done, but please don't feel too sad after my Kai. You're the kindest friend I've ever had. Aw, thank you. I promise that I'll take you to the mermaid's uh, seabed town, and though I can't come with you now, this harp will take you down. If I try to work far inside the inland sea, sail over over it and show my heart to meet Her Majesty. Just tell the Queen I'm happy now and there's no need to cry. I finally return reunited with my dear darling. Aw. Not for now, you'll be my friend till the end. Aw. That's so sad! Aw. Hmm. 
Fire eggshell. She's cute. And funny. She's fucking rhymes. I wonder if that's like a mermaid thing or if it's just, you know. Okay. So I think I know where we need to go. Oh, okay. So, uh, the harp is used in those, uh, things of light. And it'll take us to new locations. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, um... I just teleport off the ship and teleport into the ocean. That's really sad. Alright, let's go in. I wonder who Lorelei is. I'm assuming it's gonna be the queen. Oh, wow. Nordica. Hi. Oh, they're all speaking rhymes. Cool. No. Hi, right, cool. Oh, the rainbow. There's something hidden over here. Fire sledge, of course. Alright, so one more back here. That's interesting. Ooh, wow. is a veritable paradise under the sea. Just when you think you've seen it all, you find yourself in mermaid town. So we can breathe underwater now? That harp is something else. Well, now we're here, I guess we can find out if that story about the giant pearl is just an old wives tale or not. Finding the orb is important, but we need to talk to the queen first. We have to tell her about Michelle. Alright, so we're going to do that, just just because we're already here. Hey. Queen Marina, of course. Alright. Let's go. Also, weapon shop here. Awesome. Rhyme shop. I like her. Call her been nice. Strong medicine. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff. Thank you, lady. Also, weapon in armor shop over here. <laughs> it's a shark. That's awesome. Alright. That's a bank, so we'll just go. Oh, that's cool. I'm assuming I'm gonna learn how to talk to him later on or something. Hey. <laughs> I like her. She's so she's sassy. 
Not what I expected for a uh, undersea king, but okay. Let's well, save point. Okay. Is it you? Can you talk to? No! Is it Sandy the dog? How do, how do I lose an argument with a dog? Oh, okay. Uh, that makes more sense. Okay. Ooh, I like her. I welcome you to Nautica, the land beneath the waves. Oh, what brings you, Prince of Dandrasil, down to these coral caves? Huh? How do you know he's the Prince of Dundrasil? <laughs> I have a second sight that touches every quarter, by which I keep abreast of all the news above the water. Of doomed love between men and mermaids, let us later speak. First, allow me to present the item that you seek. Behold the shining sphere of green, the orb you humans need. The treasures of the world above are marvelous indeed. Consider this my thanks for what you did for dear Michelle. Pray take it kindly, travelers, and may it serve you well. I was, uh, I was expecting the blue one, but hey, cheers! Sorry, tale. It always breaks my heart. The tragedy of man and mermaid doomed to live apart. But while the mermaid's burden holds, such romances are blighted, and love between man and sea maiden fizzles unrequited. For years now, I have sought a way to remedy this curse. Alas, my every effort ends in failure or worse. You humans cannot help but seem a fragile kind to we, who live five hundred years and more down here beneath the sea. But though the flame of human life burns short, it burns so bright. You never cease to struggle. No, you push, you strive, you fight. And so your kind admire our kind, but we admire in turn. It is the world tree's will that from each other we should learn. It was the world tree's will that brought Michelle and Kai together. I pray that in their next lives they may stay that way forever. So too was it the world tree's will that brought you here today. But now, dear Luminary, you must be upon your way. So set sail on the tide of time that flows ceaselessly on. And if Yggdrasil wills it, we shall meet again anon. <sighs> Remember, though the paths we walk are filled with twists and turns, all roads lead from the Tree of Life, and to the Tree return. Oh, that's a very sad story. Hold on. Okay. Whoa! Wasn't expecting that. Alrighty then. So we actually have a quest that we can do in here as well. With her. It was about 50 years ago. When the ship settled ahead, watched them blow. The train ship, which brings me joy for its crew. Must lie, a little boy. Strange every day from dawn to dusk, dawn to sing. Okay. 
Alright, so... Up where they walk, I like it. Um... To do this quest... Uh, let's see here. Complete this quest. Zoom to Gondolia and speak to the old man NPC around the Northwest Lighthouse. Then return to Nautica to receive Gracos' Triton. Interesting. Let's see here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this uh, pro probably done as well. Let's see here. Oop. Zoom? Where are we zooming to? Strand. Let's see here. All right. I think there's one up to the north we have to go through. Come on. Alright. Okay, over there. <clears throat> Let's go unlock this area because there's some rarefied uh, enemies that I want to be able to uh, grind for. Because that's going to take me some time to get. Oh, hi! Was not expecting this. Okay. Well, let's go! Can't get him about nowhere, buddy. Ah, oh, sweet. The powers. Scorch sweep. Not bad. Let's focus the, uh, the King Squid. What's breath? Oh, crap. Good. Missed. Okay, so it's not as bad as the Tentacular we fought, but still kind of annoying. Was not expecting to fight him. Nine hundred, though. Geez, that's good EXP. Yup. All right. That was weird. All right, I've yet to go to this island, so let's, let's see where this place is, right quick. I'm assuming it's. Oh God, my throat. I'm assuming it's that one of those uh, islands. Yeah, it's Lena. It's Luna, whatever. Okay. I do kind of wish I could fast travel these locations, but I can't. I just have to sail to each of them, which really sucks. Alright. There it is. There was a cutscene as well. I'm not sure if I uh, put it in before the set or not, or as part. Um, from when I went to Sniffleheim. I may just keep it for when I actually go to Sniffleheim, uh, story-wise. So we'll see how, how, I, how I plan that out. Okay. Hi. I'll probably just wait until I actually go there storyline-wise, that way you can see the cutscene in proper order. The only thing that would change is that my outfits are probably going to be different. Who else wants some? Alright, let's land. Champ Suavage. Alright. So, things of interest here. <clears throat> there is a... God, my throat! What the hell's going on? That's really annoying. What's that? Wow. I'm not even going to attempt that. 
Hold on, let's, let's see, let's see. Academy de Notre Maitre des Medellis. I'm just gonna call it the Academy, because holy hell, no. <laughs> okay, so this area specifically. Uh, let's see here. There is a 24 karat bunny cord, it's a rarefied version of bunny corns. Uh, let's see here. There is the slime amugulated, which is basically a uh, slime that will call other slimes and fuse into a king slime. Obviously, king slimes. Uh, Metal Slime Knight. Now, I'm not sure if Metal Slime Knights have the same uh, EXP buff that everything else does, but it's still good to know. The Brilliant Bipan Rarified. No clue what the hell that's about. Uh, there's a Mini Metal. Anything special? Platinum More. We can find Platinum More here. Okay. So we're going to head up to the academy real quick, just so we get that place unlocked. It's down here. Fom no. Alright. Curious. I'm curious what the academy is. It sounds very French. There we are. I think. Yeah. I'm really curious about this place. Are we going to Hogwarts? <laughs> Alright. Well, it's suddenly became daytime. I feel like I shouldn't be here. Splendid rendition, girls. Now, to your lesson. May you have a maximally fruitful day on your journey to become miniature ladies par excellence. All together now. Merci, Monsieur Medaille. Merci, Monsieur Medaille. Merci, mesdemoiselles. I love the lady zombie in the uniform. That's hilarious. Hmm. What have we here? It is not so often that we receive les visiteurs. It is a minimally common occurrence, in fact. <gasps> Incroyable! I do not believe it! Young man, it must have been fate that brought you here! Destiny! La Providence! I sense a great power within you! A power of maximal significance! There is much to discuss, but not out here, eh? Come to my office! And I will reveal all you need to know. It is nearby, a minimal distance. You will see. 
<laughs> he makes me uncomfortable. I don't know why. Okay. Things of interest in this location. Let's see here. Recipe. Uh, Lashing of glass. There are a lot of minimals we can get here. Album de Medellis. Okay. Recipe. Fine and dandy designs. Recipe. Next level neckwear. Like, two or three minimals I can see already. Uh, there is a quest here to get that will give you three minimals out to get, which is awesome. And another, which will give us the uniform of this place. Which is kind of cool. Alright. Excuse me, what? This place is kind of fancy. Hi. <laughs> I like you. Alright. Alright, I'll do it later. Alright, so that's the mini metal one. Let's head inside, see if there's a save point. If there is, I'll stop. Well, I'll stop anyway. But I just want to see some of the other stuff's going on. Wow. There's a save point. Okay, cool. This is fancy. Ah! Jabby sliding doors. Awesome. <laughs> What's this? Alright, alright. School grounds by the looks of it. Alright, so... We've gone for quite a while. I say this is a good time to stop. I hope you guys enjoyed this, the, the extra long set, and I'll see you guys next week, week where we'll continue on from here. I'm gonna mess around a bit, so... <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Until then, hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye!